Hey, welcome to Technology Paul. Got a little bit of a different video for you today. I'm gonna to be showing you a new product, something very high tech. Take a look. My new fridge. Yes, I got a new fridge, so why not make a video about it? Fridges these days are getting pretty smart, actually, and so in a way, they're like tech products, so it kind of works. So stick with me, and I'll explain why this smart fridge is a pretty cool product. So we had to get a new fridge because our old one was awful. And it was probably a few years old. It was a Samsung. I don't remember which model, but it had a lot of issues. One of which was the fact that it was super loud. The sound would emanate throughout the house. The motor or the compressor or something was not in a good way. Sometimes I would think there was like a freight train or something outside until I remembered, no, no, that's just your fridge. And here's the thing. We could probably live with the noise, but the other big problem with the old fridge was this annoying recurring issue that came up of it just being icing, icing up the entire inside back wall and the bottom of the fridge and the crisper would build up with ice over time to the point where it would kind of get to the front and then it would kind of leak a little bit from melting and it would leak out the door, which is how we originally noticed it. But seriously, we would have to turn this thing off every three months or so and break out a few pounds of ice by chipping it. And also we'd have to let it thaw overnight so it could just defrost behind the back panel. It was horrendous. So recently we totally lost it and we just decided to buy a new fridge. I know there's a lot of Samsung fans out there and I knew based on our poor experience that we weren't gonna get another Samsung. And by the looks of it, Samsung has some pretty cool fridges these days. They've even got a family hub, a huge touchscreen panel on the door of the fridge, but I decided to take my chances on another brand LG. We got the LG 36 inch French door refrigerator with a door in door feature, as well as InstaView and dual ice makers. This is it right here. Now I'll start by saying this isn't the top of the line fridge from LG. They've got a couple of models above this one. Interestingly, if you look up this fridge on LG's Canadian website, the price shows as $4,049. But if you click through to where to buy, and go to Home Depot, it's actually listed for about $2,800, which is the price that we paid. Not sure why there's a massive price discrepancy unless this model is slowly being phased out. But regardless, fridges these days are pretty expensive. Obviously, we could have gotten a cheaper one, but we decided the upgrades in this case were worth it. Plus, LG has some good brand reputation in the appliance space, so paying a premium is acceptable if it lives up to the hype. If you're like me and you upgrade your refrigerator every never, then you probably aren't aware of some of the features out there these days, and neither was I. Let me walk you through some of the key features of this LG. Let's start with the most obviously noticeable thing about this fridge this giant tinted window. Now, why on earth do you need a window in your fridge? Well, LG calls it InstaView. Basically, it's the ability to see what's in your fridge without actually opening it. Now, this has two benefits. One is that it can help save energy because you're not opening the door as much and letting cool air out. Secondly, though, it's a cool party trick. All you do is knock twice and you can see what's inside. And you can show your guests the beverage selection before actually opening the fridge. And then when you do choose what you want, you simply open this special door in door. And now you're inside the door, but not yet inside the rest of the fridge, which LG claims is also an energy saver. I think the idea here is to keep things you would constantly be going to the fridge for easier to access. For a lot of people, it's going to be beverages. But for the marketing folks at LG, it's their trusty bottle of balsamic ketchup. Honestly, I've never heard of that before, but now I kind of want to try it. Some people, however, don't like keeping things stored in the door of the fridge because in most fridges, the door area is more susceptible to loss of cool air. I guess because it's closest to the hotter temperatures outside the fridge. But LG has thought of that with what they call Door Cooling Plus, which supplies cooler air to the door specifically. It's basically just a cold air vent at the top of the fridge, but it's still a pretty good innovation. But if you think that's cool, just wait until I tell you about the dual ice makers. Yes, you heard me, dual. You can get ice up here where the water dispenser lives 
just select cubed or crushed. Plus you can get ice down in the freezer if you're having a big party. There definitely won't be a shortage. Here's one of the other reasons we bought an LG, by the way. Linear compressor, which doesn't mean a lot to me, but the way LG puts it is that their linear compressor uses fewer moving parts and operates more efficiently essentially guaranteeing it to last longer. LG backs that statement up with a 10 year limited warranty. Inside the fridge, you have a fresh air filter. I haven't put that to the test yet, so I'll update you once we know how well it tames some of these smellier smells that can occur after leaving the leftovers in the fridge too long. You've also got about three different crispers, but the one at the bottom has a digital control. You can select deli, veggies, or fruit, depending on what you're keeping in there. Plus you have a middle shelf that can slide back halfway for storing taller items such as we've done. On the outside, you've got what LG claims is a smudge resistant finish. Let's put that to the test. Now this wouldn't be a technology channel if this fridge didn't also connect to the internet. And it just so happens that it does. The fridge has smart thin Q Wi-Fi connectivity, also known as just Wi-Fi, that connects to LG thin Q app. Inside the app, you have several functions. Up at the top, it shows you the current temperature settings for the fridge and freezer. And if you like, you can change those temperatures. Below that, you get the status of your water filter. LG recommends you change it out every four to six months. So I guess I'll just watch for the status to change. You can also change what mode your fresh air filter is in. Usually it's in auto mode where it runs for 10 minutes every two hours, but you can switch it to power mode to make it run continuously for four hours if you run into a smelly situation. You can turn Ice Plus on or off. When Ice Plus is on, the fridge kicks ice making into high gear for 24 hours. Probably great if you're hosting a party. There's also a Sabbath mode, which is used for religious holidays. Essentially, it turns off a lot of the function of the fridge to kind of dissuade you from getting into it. It turns off the water dispenser as well as InstaView. You can activate Peak Energy Saver as long as you are part of your utility company's demand response program, which effectively helps you reduce your energy usage during peak times. Similarly, there's Seasonal Energy Saver, which is specific to your freezer's defrost function, which is apparently energy intensive. Anyways, it won't run during the peak hours that are set out by the energy start program. And if you really want to dive into efficiency, check out energy monitoring. It allows you to view your fridge's cumulative energy uses over a course of a day, week, month, or a year. It also shows you door openings during that same time period. Lastly, you can also connect LG ThinQ to Google Home as well as Alexa. So you can ask for certain functions with your voice. I don't think I'll ever use this, but you could if you wanted. So what do you think? Does this qualify as a smart fridge? Are there way cooler fridges out there with more features and functionality? I don't doubt it because this is kind of a middle of the road fridge. You know, it's not like a $10,000 fridge, which you can go and get, of course. But I, for one, am impressed at some of the little advancements that we've seen in fridges over the last while. And it was a very welcome upgrade, especially compared to our old fridge. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. What fridge are you using? If you enjoyed the video, click that like button so that more people can get recommended this content. And of course, support the channel by subscribing to Technology Paul. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one.